Hey, what's up, guys? Boxing with B. Hey, Rob, without the paycheck. All right. Before we talk about the weekends that we didn't come on here and talk, let's first focus on this upcoming weekend. So this upcoming weekend, we have Devin Haney versus Jorge Linares. Oh, El Nino know. de Oro versus, what is Devin Haney? The, the Dream. The Dream. Okay. Well, The Dream might <laughs> lose, might get a nightmare because he's underestimating Ooh. this kid. You never know. Linares is a good champion. Well, it was a good champion. Mm -hmm. He got stopped by Lomachenko, but Lomachenko is above average. And uh, he beat Luke Campbell. Oh, I think Pablo Cesar Cano also stopped Linares. I, know, I think that I might think have been it a was. fluke. But still, it doesn't matter. He lost, he lost. He has the two losses on his record, but do not count out Jorge Linares. If you don't know him, he's from Venezuela, El Niño de Oro. This guy, yeah, he's 35. But if you're going to count him out, go back and watch his highlights. I think he's a, he'll be like Evander Holyfield. He has one good fight left and he bang, has, my you know change he has the world. power. My change the world. You can't make a mistake against Linares. Look, he fought Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell, we just saw recently fighting. But against... he fought Luke Campbell in his prime right after the Olympics when the, he was undefeated and Luke Campbell was coming up and everybody from Britain was coming to see him. That's where I even saw Prince Nassim Hamid that I didn't recognize, but then I go, oh, but I don't hey. think, no, Luke Campbell had not just come out of the Olympics. He was already older, too. Yes, but he was more he, recent than now, yes. He was the golden boy. He had won the gold medal. You know, he, had, he, he was gold. undefeated. Yes, yes. Right? He was coming to take this belt away, which well, never happened. He got dropped, I think, in the second round. I thought it was over. But, of course, Luke Campbell, he has heart. He got back up and continued that fight. Jorge Linares, in his last fight, he fought against Carlos Morales. And if you don't know who Carlos Morales is, he's kind of like a journeyman. Okay, People might not give him the credit that he deserves, but that guy, when he steps into the ring, you can expect a full-out war. You can expect a fight with a fighter that's going to give it his all, give you his heart in the ring, yes. not stop for no reason. Okay, that's the kind of fighter that Carlos Morales is. He had never been stopped before. Yeah, he had losses, but they but they were from the deci decision. He fought Linares. Linares stopped him, yep. knocked him out. He ended that fight with a knockout. That was a while ago, so Linares hasn't fought nobody. He's been no, in Japan. No, not that long ago. It was about 2019. No one really fought last year with COVID. Yeah. So uh, Some did. Yes, yes, yes. Some they did. did. They okay. did later, but This guy was stuck, I think, in Japan, so he couldn't come out. Well, but it, hopefully he was training. Because not, not fighting, not getting yeah, trained, yeah, is yeah. it's going to hurt. Yeah, You know, it's going to some little rust. So I like Linares still, but Haney is a young line he is. stepping up, coming up, and everybody's avoiding Haney. He is, that. he is, but when he fought against Gamboa, he won by decision. Now, you know, but you give him credit because he gets the, he gets the experience. The but you have to have one thing. It's COVID time, so he wasn't fighting either. So no, they're all no. rusted. You know, it's a different story. Either, you know, this guy is a guy that could beat him or that guy that he could surprise him. So hopefully, you know, Haney, I think, like, he's training. So we'll yeah. see. All the young guys, they got a lot to prove because they, they do a lot of talking. So when they step in the ring, we expect a lot from them. A lot yeah. of people were disappointed with, with uh, Devin Haney's last performance. Ah, well, I would like but I like say, you said, COVID, COVID's affected a lot of these fighters. Exactly, but we'll yeah. see. We'll, we'll see, see how happens. this fight turns out. But I would say tune in. I think it'll be a good fight. It's going to yeah. be on the zone. Yeah. We'll see. Leave it up to that. What do you think is going to come out of this? I don't know. Haney winning by decision. But I'm hoping there's a surprise, you know, that Linares. I, I would like to see Linares win. Yeah. And say goodbye to the world, you know, and saying goodbye, retirement. Like retire. if he doesn't, yeah, if not, you know, take revenge on Lomachenko, but lose again. Well, Linares has well, you know said what? Linares that. Might, might go after Timo Fimo Lopez. He has Fimo a belt. Fimo. He might love, you know, because I saw a video of him sparring and the sparring partner dropped him. Lopez. He dropped Timo. Tio Fimo. Dropped him. <laughs> he didn't all knock him out, but he dropped him. And the last person that I saw get dropped when nobody could drop him was Mike Tyson. And he met Buster Douglas and it changed the world. I got to see him. They were going, everybody was like, look at Mike Tyson sparring. And boom, he gets dropped by his uh, sparring partner. <laughs> you know, he got back up and yeah, it was yeah. a knockout. Same thing happened here. I see this drop and this kid's ready to fight somebody I know is coming up soon. You never know. What happens if it's a Tyson curse or something that, you know, he gets dropped in sparring? A guy that never got hey. dropped. Tyson was the unbeatable. He was on his show, too. Right. He was unbeatable. He was a massive. Who could fight? Nobody could even. Yeah, that's when Prince, uh, the, the first Prince of Bel Air made that song. Nobody could beat Mike Tyson. And guess what? A guy that had shots that no one ever knew or that he was there. He was like a journeyman. Buster Douglas came out of nowhere mm -hmm. in Tokyo and shocked the world. Well, I mean, you never, you never know. know, never know. But focusing on this weekend, tune in to DAZN. I think it'll be a good fight. Weekends before, 
just to mention really quick, last weekend we saw Josh Taylor versus Jose Ramirez for all the belts. Now, I thought that was a good fight. I think when it first started, I honestly thought Jose had, he had the fight. I thought Ramirez was in control. He was landing those body shots and you could tell that they were affecting Taylor. And so I was like, oh man, he's going to go down off the body shots. He's All he has to do is work the body. It's over. And I think I even tweeted like, I'm surprised that Josh Taylor is taking these body shots so well. As the fight progressed, it just went in Josh Taylor's favor. Jose Ramirez made too many mistakes, too he, many errors. He exposed him. The Taylor guy studied him. He exposed him. because he, he made too many errors, and Taylor literally capitalized on each one. Every clinch, he was using some veteran moves. Every clinch, as soon as they separate you, he's throwing. You know, it's like that could be iffy if the ref is like. The referee doesn't say to exactly, The big exactly. thing when they start the belt. You, I, I went to the, I, I told you guys the rules in yep. the your dress room. room. Yeah. But remember, protect yourself at all times. Exactly. That's what fucking, excuse my language. That's what, um, <laughs> what's that fool that fought Mayweather? Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz said, uh, kiss, 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 and then bam. Well, look, Jose Ramirez almost made that mistake too. In one of the rounds, he turned his back because he wanted the ref to do whatever, whatever. He was too busy trying to talk to the ref. He did that a few times. He turned his back, talked to the ref, and Josh Taylor capitalized. He's like, hey, we're fighting. Yep. No one said stop. He put the pressure on. It almost looked like it was a hit behind the head, but hey, put your hands up. And even look, 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 and the ref didn't stop it, so he had to put his hands up. It's like, stop. I don't know where his mentality was. No excuses. You lost. But at the same time, he didn't listen to Robert Garcia as well as he should have. I think Robert Garcia provides a lot of good instruction. When I had tweeted that before, someone asked me, would that have made a difference? So I said, yes. Your corner man it knows. He makes it mostly Robert Garcia, one of the greatest trainers too. If Robert is telling you, work the body, come upstairs, work the body, get in there. Well, here's do a good not example take your too. time and start jabbing and waiting, jabbing and waiting. A no. legend. There's a legend out there that listened to his, before he had him, before he had Roach, he had losses and stuff. But then when he got Roach, he changed his whole outcome. He knew show, showed him his left, showed him his right, showed him the movements. And he became one of the greatest fighters of all time. Till this day, the old man's still doing it. And this is his name, Manny Pacquiao. He listens to his corner. He yeah. knows his corner. He knows that he'll, he'll see an opening and tell him. Well, that's why you see so many of these fighters stay with their trainers as they go trainers on. Trainers do make a difference. And Robert Garcia is not someone that you just push aside and, oh, whatever. No, Robert Garcia has proven himself. Yeah, well, I remember him as a fighter. All right? I just think that fight, credit to Josh Taylor. He yeah, came Josh in, Taylor, he put, he great put champion. on a performance. Great champion took his belts home, but even though they lost him. But. So he dropped Ramirez twice. And then at the end, it goes to the cards. Josh Taylor was surprised. He was like, not surprised, but he was relieved that they said his name because you never know with the judges, you know, yeah, of course. But at the same time when they announced the cards, it was very hey, close. There was, yeah, I know why he won too. Why it was good. There was no LA bird. Oh my God. Anyways, we saw a good fight. Credit to Josh Taylor. Like you said, they lost his belts. Not that the WBC or anyone like that lost his belt. The airline. The airlines as he's flying home after this big victory, this historic victory. They lost his belt. He can't show his belts off when he landed. <laughs> that poor guy. That's so sad. You know, you, he lived his dream. At least he lived his dream. He is the undisputed champion. What if someone says, well, let me see the belts then. Well, he'll no. have a picture of them. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then. They might have replaced him by now. Hopefully. I would well, hope so. going to get sued too because by the, all, these, all these sanctioned bodies want their belts back. <laughs> so also the weekend before that, um, who was it? Brandon Figueroa versus Luis Neri. That was a fight yes, because was. we've seen Luis Neri before. He had Eddie Reynoso in his corner. And when we saw him in that last one with Eddie Reynoso, it was during COVID, I believe it was. And, you know, he, he didn't look the, the best. I remember even Reynoso yelling at him like, you know, Echale ganas, this and this. Basically, he's, he said other stuff that that meant get in there and show me what you got. Yeah. You're not, you know, you're not, you're not performing out there. But Brandon Figueroa is a young kid coming up. He's hungry. Yeah. But right? this other kid, Nettie, I remember at the end of the fight too. Do you remember? He said, Leva that's where, uh, Eric Reynoso said, Levanta las manos, cabrón. Diles que ganaste. It was Enseña que ganaste. Enseña que ganaste. It's like, he basically said, 
put your hand up at the end that, you know, the bell rang, put your hands up. Tell those judges that, you know, you won. Yeah. But, you know, it happened. He, he won. He won. He won. This time. He fought Brandon Figueroa. And, and he hit Figueroa a couple of times, but Figueroa could take a punch and give a punch at the same mm-hmm. time. And I believe they both were undefeated. Yeah. Well, both. Yes. Were. Were. It was lit- Brandon Figueroa has the style. He's he's tall enough and has the reach to be a boxer to come outside yes, and use. But his reach. he was brawling. He doesn't do that. He gets in there with you, and so that's what we saw the whole time. In the sixth round, I think it was Brandon Figueroa didn't leave it in the hands of the judges. He stopped. Netting. He got him with the body shot. The perfect and it took, body and shot. And it took a second. It goes mm-hmm. like it goes. Oh, then it finally goes. Oh crap! And, then and he down goes he down. Went. Couldn't get Couldn't back get up. up. You know what? Those body shots. They're the most dangerous. Work the body and the head will follow. Those, the, 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 anybody who wants to know how devastating a body shot is. Don't do it. <laughs> look at all the videos of one of the greatest guys that did it. One of the greatest fighters, Mickey Ward, showed it all. There was one time that he was fighting. I, I don't know if he was Mexican, but he was a Latin fighter. He was losing to him real bad. The announcers already had counted him out that, oh, what is he going to do? And, yeah. You know, and he, the, guy, the Mexican guy came after him to... Knock him out, and what does he do? Ward just takes, 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 and then all of a sudden he does his famous left hook to the body. Connects. Finishes. Down it goes, and they cannot believe. Mickey Ward came out of nowhere. And you know what? Who else has mentioned Mickey Ward's body shot? It was Buddy McGirt. He he even mentions when he was walking out with Arturo Gatti, he he was like, all right, we got this. We worked on everything we need to work on. And he goes, and then as I'm walking, I'll never forget this. Some, I think it was some fan on the side was like, hey, buddy. And he turned around and goes, ah, ah. And he's like, that's going to be Gotti. And he's like, I know that this guy was just crazy, but it stayed in my head. And then what happens in the, in the fight? Goes, he hits him with that left hook into the body. Gotti goes down. And he's like it, in but so you know much pain, I'll but get, Gotti gets, yeah, Gotti gets but, up. But everybody thought it was over. I, you know, in the corner, I remember that. I remember he dropped in. Gotti went down. He barely got up when the bell rang. Mm-hmm. He went to his corner and he was still holding on. And then the uh, Buddy McGirt took uh, took him a while to get him out of the corner, and they yeah. thought it was over. Yeah, Mark, Mickey yeah, Ward yeah, lifts yeah, up yeah. his arm, lifts his arm. And the rest is, "What are you doing? Or, or, the fight's not, not over. over. Get it on!" And then they went at it. And then even Mickey Ward, like I, I love hearing all of his commentary after because after the fight, I mean, you know, uh, post fight and everything, when they're talking about the documentary, he's like, he comes out and he goes, "You know, I was all happy that the fight was over." And the ref says, "What are you doing? We're we're still fighting." He's like. You know, <laughs> and they went because it's like, but you know oh, what, Mickey what Ward, a war. He made it known that he was a warrior because Gotti was hitting him with body punch. He goes, "Oh, is that it? You got?" He went like that, hit me again, and Gotti went for the kill, and he took him, and then he goes, "Take mine!" Boom, boom, boom. It was a <laughs> those trilogies. I remember they were for no belts. When we saw that on HBO, boxing after dark, mm-hmm. everybody loved that fight, and we couldn't wait for the rematch. And you know who I'll give credit to that time? That's before we all, a lot of people hated him. Who? That made the second fight happen because he paid them. Donald Trump. Taj Mahal. Atlantic City was a rematch. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. People don't know that. But, you know, and then they make it worse. His foot, and then they said, well, fine. Uh, you think there'll be a trilogy? They pay us like they paid this. Yes, there will be a trilogy. And guess what? There was a trilogy. Man, there's no fights like that anymore. But... No. That was a great fight. I mean, so great memories focus, there. Forwarding now, for, forwarding to the present, kind of present. Uh, Figueroa won. Became a champion. And you know what? His his sister at the end, because she trains him too. She's like, he proved a lot of people wrong. And yeah. even even uh, Brandon Figueroa came out and was like, everyone doubted me. Like I, you know, I showed you guys. He I, didn't I got need it. to show nobody, dude. You do whatever you know. You know how to do. You don't have to prove nothing to nobody. You just do what you do hey. and become. Now you got to go out there and a, defend those belts. Defend that belt and then become, start oh, winning Oh, yeah, it was more. that belt, right? Wait, was become, it? Never mind. Yeah, become <laughs> the undisputed, you know? Show them that you're, you're all there. You know, you don't have nothing to prove. Other news, though, that came out, I think it was, oh, this past weekend, Tyson Fury signed the contract to fight Deontay Wilder. What do you think of that? Tyson Fury by knockout. Okay, but if you were Tyson Fury... He has no choice. There was a No, 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 that, you could have vacated and then fought. He could vacated have, the WBC? No. I'm saying. I'm not Riddick he Bo. <laughs> He's not Riddick Bo, all right? He's not going to vacate nothing. Oh, well, I'm just saying that was the other option. No, vacate all the other belts. The WBC? No way. All right. So the leader champion. He Go is the there. champion. When they recognize the champion, they don't say Joshua. Tyson Fury is the champion of all. Books and all that, Tyson Fury. You guys got that? And you that? got a loudmouth saying, and then he gets knocked out by a fat, I mean, I'm not going to say fat, but 
He got knocked out by Andy Reese. Well, Andy Reese was. Okay, was, it doesn't matter. Was, it doesn't matter. Knows. This kid came out of nowhere and beat him. The guy that he should have been able to beat. All right. So Joshua, he got lucky beat Klitschko that one time, I think, now. Because, you know, all Klitschko this time. was old, too. And you know he he's, fight, he's, fighting, he's fighting Usyk. All right? Okay, but look, look. With I don't Usyk, care. Usyk's going to shock the world. Usyk's going to shock the world. All right. He's going to go and going to get him. Because Joshua can't use that boxing because Usyk nah. could come back and box him too. Yeah, but Usyk doesn't have that power at the heavyweight. Oh, it doesn't matter. Neither Joshua doesn't have a chin of a heavyweight. Well, all right. You, I guess you got a point. We'll so see. I'm, I'm we'll get, see how I'm that getting, turns out, but I'm telling you. Watch how scary he is to fight Usyk. He's not barking like when he was barking these other guys because he know Usyk is a boxer puncher. So if he wants he's to smaller, box him, though. he's tall. He's, not, he's, not, he's as big as him, but not as muscular. All right, he's coming down. But he has the reach too, the height. So he's gonna get if he wants if Josh wants to do a boxing like he did to Reese. Guess Reese. what? Usyk is gonna box him right back and prove to him and get that shot at the jaw and you'll see him go down. Dang, that's bold. We'll that see. is bold. We'll see. Because I was we'll hoping that, that Tyson Fury was ready to knock his ass out. Damn, I'm gonna miss that fight. Well, All right. No. Well, well, Fury will take Wilder first, and you said you see Fury winning that fight a lot quicker. Okay, a lot quicker. And then he said he'll go and fight Joshua. Yeah, because I see. How will that turn out? Oh, she'll. Jo- so you think Fury's just on top of it? Yeah, he's on top of the world. He's unstoppable. I think. Right? Tyson. I mean, uh, Wilder's going to come and try to knock him out. All right, that's going to be that's his. Big, sure. That's going to be his biggest mistake. Yes. Because you sometimes you can't hit when you can't with a big guy. You, you think he's in front of you. Sometimes he moves. He moves like a matrix, and he hits hard. Yeah. So, guess what? We'll see. All right, let us know if you agree with A-Rod without the paycheck. Lights out.